welcome. Um, I am a reader. I've been a reader for quite some time, but I'm just starting on YouTube and I'm hoping to resonate with as many people as possible um, so that I can continue my service as a light worker. So I hope that this resonates with you. Remember that time is an illusion. So if this reading doesn't resonate with you now and you happen to click it way later on and it resonates with you then, remember that that is when spirit led you to see this video. So hopefully I can guide as many people as I can and look down below for more information about me, my blog, who I am, and uh, get to know me a little bit. And I hope to get to know you too. And if this resonates with you, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Okay, so I hope to post regularly here and um, read for the collective and guide you guys the best that I can. So today we're going to go into the energies of the Twin Flame Union right now. Um, I'm, I'm getting led by spirit to do a reading, particularly right now. I wasn't going to do a reading now. I was going to wait until later. But I'm being told that there are very uh, important messages about the Divine Masculine that need to be shared right now. Okay? So let's get to it. Give me one second to connect. All right. When the candle goes out, that's their way of letting me know that it's time to begin. So let's start shuffling. So, yeah, so I'm clairvoyant, right? So I hear a whole bunch of messages. I get their energy from spirit all day long. Sometimes I'm just minding my business, doing what I have to do, and they're like, go do a reading. I'm like, okay, fine. I always listen to them because I feel like I do this for the greatest. They're good. So if they're telling me to do a reading now, it's for a reason. There's somebody that's going to click on this, even though I'm new, that needs to hear the messages that I'm going to share today. So if you follow me, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to post pretty regularly. I'm going to make it a habit because um, I really do feel like this is a platform that I don't really know why I haven't started a channel before because I, I read regularly and I and I feel like this is a good way to share my guidance with as many, touch as many people as I can, help as many people towards union as I can. And I really, that's really all that I want to do. So let's see here what's going on. Okay. I'm being told already that the energies right now are pretty strong. It's a lot of confusion going on. Some people don't know what's real, what's not real. But one thing is for sure, the past couple of readings that I've done um, on YouTube and off YouTube, one thing that has stood out to me, and listen, I'm not a fluffy reader. If it's something that's going to trigger somebody, I feel so terribly when that happens. But I read what the cards say. And lately, union energies have been very strong okay but remember this journey is all about what you make it it's about working on yourself learning your lessons ah that's way too many to jump out you guys sorry um what you make it what you learn what you take out of it divine masculine divine feminine so these readings are to let you know what the current energies are but also to help you be in the right energy um to be able to fully embrace what's coming, especially if it's union. Remember, everything is a step towards union. Okay? I mean, look at that right now. Look at that. Right when I was talking about union, what what do I open up here? The Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups? That's union. <laughs> I'm not going to pull those out. I'm going to let Spirit just confirm to you guys on camera. Okay? All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, I'm telling you that's enough shuffling. That's enough. Okay, that's enough. We'll see. All right, so three of pentacles, nine of pentacles, king of swords, seven of swords. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that because of everything that you guys have gone through, I'm getting that Divine Feminine right now 
has learned to be on their own in a way, okay? They have been doubting the union, whether or not this has this is actually a twin flame connection. They've had a lot of doubt because of all of the things that you guys have gone through in the past. And that's kind of like, it's interesting because you wanted this union for so long, right? But because of all of the things that have happened, how long it's taken, now that the Divine Masculine is ready to come forward towards union, you're starting to have these doubts, okay? One second. Yeah. What I'm getting here is, however, that the Divine Masculine is ready to come forward towards, come forward towards uh, the Divine Feminine with his truth right now, okay? He has taken a lot of time to analyze the situation and has realized that there has been some deceitful energy that both the divine masculine and the divine feminine have been carrying for quite some time now. Now that could be that the divine masculine has led the divine feminine to feel as if they have been deceived or it's their energies within both of you, the divine masculine and the divine feminine, that were not representative of how you really felt towards each other. It's like these karmic situations that you've both been in. And you know, karmic situations are not always people, okay? Lessons that you had to go through, arguing, just energies, all of the energies that have pushed you apart, okay? It's like recently there has been an epiphany about what has been keeping you apart. And the divine masculine is starting to feel burdened, okay, by this. Because I do sense that he wants to come towards you with his truth. He wants to come towards you with this ace of swords, okay, with his truth, okay? The three of pentacles is teamwork, coming together as a team to build something, okay? But right now, the divine masculine feels like he doesn't even know how to move forward towards a divine feminine because she has he's under the impression that she's even though she's like keeping to herself possibly guarded because she's not sure if she should trust the divine masculine or not i say she and he but we know that that's interchangeable because it doesn't exist in the union the connection she's actually in a way guarding herself towards getting hurt again okay but in a way, that's how allowed Divine Masculine to see the Divine Feminine in her full power and more confident. And that's kind of like triggers a Divine Masculine to feel like he wants to be in his power also and take control over these deceptive um, feelings that have gone on between both of you. And he wants to come forward towards his truth. He's starting to realize that the, his truth is that he wants you in he or her life. He wants union. But right now, this seven of swords energy is still lingering. And right now, I feel like I am. we are both, okay, divine masculine and divine feminine, in the energy of contemplation, knowing, I'm sensing that you both are getting very strong signs, synchronicities from the universe lately, dreams even, that union is very near. Both of you. I feel like this is just a knowing. It's like just this overwhelming feeling that you've both had, especially in the past week. Okay, but it feels burdensome because you would feel like these feelings would be positive and calming and relaxing, but they're scary because this seven of swords energy still lingers back there. Remembering these things that have happened in the past, you don't even know what's real, what's not real. Are they going to come forward and is this going to still be there? Are they, are they coming forward? Are they going to come? Is it going to be the truth this time? Is it a forever thing this time? You're both afraid of coming back towards the situation, even though you really, really want to uh, get together and, and, and live your truth and be in union. You're very scared of creating this burdensome situation again. 
So you're still a little, you're both a little guarded, but at the same time, the energy is different this time because before this energy existed and it kept you apart completely. But now it's like this tug of war, right? Like the universe is basically intervening now in the lives of divine mass and divine feminine. Whereas if you are doubting whether or not this is your twin flame or not, if you are doubting whether or not this union is ever going to happen, if you are doubting whether or not you should come forward or they're going to come forward, if you are doubting whether or not they're coming forward with their truth, they're being honest, if you are doubting whether or not this deception is going to end, the universe is really going out of their way this week, you guys, to like get that energy the hell away from both of you because that energy of fear is what needs to be healed for union to happen and I'm being told that this is the time for union and both of you are being made clear of that that whole being stuck in the seven of swords deceptive energy, fear-based energy, karmic situations and lessons energy, all of that crap. And actually being numb to the fact that this is a sacred union because I know especially the Divine Masculine has been expert at that, making believe that the Divine Feminine is just not for them and blah, 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 blah. This has been, I think it also has a lot to do with the uh, Mercury being in retrograde and the new moon. Okay, in Pisces this week. If you watch this at another time, it's, it could still resonate with you. This I hope this resonates however it resonates. But the difference between how it was before and how it is now is that at the same time, the universe is... See, this, this whole new moon is about bringing the truth out. So the truth about the fact that this you this this relationship this 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 connection is sacred and that you're supposed to be together can no longer be ignored it can no longer be be ignored that has a, some of you in like severe anxiety that has some of you crying out of nowhere in your lunch break or at home or you know while doing groceries for no particular reason or think it is for no particular reason but this is why it's because the universe is not allowing the divine masculine and the divine feminine to be in this energy anymore they are really pushing you both forward towards getting rid of this of all of these energies from the past towards union and that's going to happen so quickly okay but it is up to you to trust in this process but it's happening i feel like for those of you that have had no communication there has been communication recently okay it could have been small communication but i do feel for 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 a small number of you Communication has happened recently where even though it was small communication, it was almost like explosive or intense communication in that small little bit where feelings just like came out, you know, about all of these issues that I'm talking about that need to be healed. Some of you might have not had had communication yet, but I do feel that very, very soon it is going to happen. Okay. And it might seem... Like it's going back to the same old bullshit that it was in the past where you would have these these, these intense short communications or, or, or arguments over something that kept you apart. But this time, that's happening so that it can be healed. This time, I, I'm being told by spirit that this time it's different because this time it's pushing you both towards the final healing to come towards union okay so i'm gonna shuffle more i want you to i want you guys to know that i am i i speak with the divine while i read um and i use uh tools the tarot oracle cards angel cards as a tool but it's almost like I, i'm speaking directly from them and then they give me cards that just reiterate what i'm saying so if you guys see me shuffle in front of you let, let's see what else they have to say Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Oh, it's fine. Masculine. Okay. Yeah, so we have the Page of Wands here and the Page of Cups with the Sun. Right? But surrounding those cards, we have the Four of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Five of Swords. Holy freaking swords. Okay? So what I'm getting here reiterates what we were talking about. This is a very heavy card here, isn't it? Okay? The Nine of Swords. But then we have the, the Sun. The Sun is the most beautiful card in the deck. The Sun to me, exemplifies everything that has to do with union, happiness, bliss. But it's also a light, uh, light, <laughs> sorry. It's also a card of clarity, okay, of complete clarity, okay, of bringing clarity to all of these, actually it came out like this, this one was first, this one was first, it, of bringing clarity to all of these um, feelings. So this is, the divine's way of, 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 of just reiterating what I'm saying. So we have the page of cups and the page of wands. The page of cups and the page of wands. That's somebody taking action towards passion and giving an offer, a small offer towards someone. Because I'm not saying that they're going to come in and say, hey, I love you, let's get married, here's a ring. No. But it's a start towards the ultimate union. And this time union is going to be actual union. Like the union that, the forever I love you union. Okay. So we had the sun first and then we had the nine of swords and the five of swords okay and before that we had the page of cups and the and the page of wands so that just is reiterating that right now i feel like you're both this is usually like a divine i usually read towards um divine masculine but this is for divine masculine and divine feminine because union is so near you're both like in the same energy and it's usually a little different i mean there are differences but you're like right here right now because you're almost to close so close to union so the sun has shined clarity on the fact that this is a sacred union that it's not going anywhere something just clicked okay the sun has shined its light on the fact that being in this nine of swords energy, in this it's all about me energy, I have to get away from divine mass and I have to get away from divine feminine, it's not working. Being in this energy of refusing the cup of love, okay, which is a four of cups, just sitting there, you know, hands crossed, legs crossed like a baby, okay? This feeling of having to move away, yet never actually fully moving away. The sun has clarified that that is not bringing you both true happiness. The sun has clarified that that needs to be healed, that that needs to go away. And Divine Masculine, because the offer is going to come from Divine Masculine, wants to come in as the Page of Wands, a Page of Cups, and wants to get rid of these energies, okay? Get rid of these energies that we were just talking about so that they can offer you the clarity and the truth, Ace of Swords, okay? And come together, okay, as a team to create that stability. That is, you guys are finally both going to see eye to eye and have that conversation. I feel like some of you have even, no matter how long you've been in this journey, some of you have been on this journey and feelings have been this strong, but none of you have been able to say, I love you to each other even. This is for a small percentage of you. Some of you have and they've run away. But I feel like a lot of you on this journey the lesson had to do with not being able to admit that this union, that this connection is sacred in the first place. Okay? But the light has finally brought clarity. The universe is intervening and saying to the divine masculine, I need to come forward to the divine feminine with my truth and offer them my truth 
and I want to work with him or her towards something stable and get rid of this energy that doesn't serve me because that energy keeps me waking up in the middle of the night anxious. The anxiety comes from not being with the Divine Feminine or the Divine Masculine. It's finally being clear to both of you that it's not the Divine Masculine, the Divine Feminine that's causing the anxiety. It's actually the separation and the lack of truth in healing yourself and healing the connection. That's where it's at. That right there, what I just said. Clarity has finally been brought that it's not the divine other that is the reason for the anxiety and the, and the needing to get away. It's the actual separation itself and the lack of personal healing that's kept you sep uh, separated. And it is time to come together, both divine masculine and divine feminine, and, and speak your truth. Okay? Wow, that's great. All right, so. Okay, Spirit, tell me about divine masculine. What, what are they feeling in their, in their uh, heart space right now? Okay? How are they feeling in their heart space? Are they still in denial? What are they feeling? Devil, the moon, Hierophant. <gasps> Jeez, holy. Three major arcana cards and then the two of freaking cups in their heart space. Hello, I love when I feel like, hold on, let me get my, this, I need to turn this, when I feel like there's a very strong connection with the divine, I just, sometimes they tell me to light my candle back on and, I just have to do that to honor them. Clarifying what we're saying. The devil, the moon. That's the shadow energy that we've been talking about. All those, you know, anxiety, avoiding the, the uh, denying the sacred union, the, denying the connection. Okay, all of those deceptive energies, all of the crap that's happened in the past. The Hierophant is about bringing, making something official about bringing healing and making sacred union, even marriage, making things right. So what do, you, what do you think this is saying about, this is about his heart space. What do you think that's saying? The devil energy has finally, 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 all of these bonds, all of these, all of this energy, negative energy that you guys are both, look at the two people on the bottom, tied. You're both divine masculine and divine feminine tied to this devil energy. Both of you watching videos. Well, because the divine masculine is watching videos. Well, because the divine feminine is, it's both of you tied to these energies. The sun, look how that just went right on top of the sun. The sun has brought clarity to that. But that, those are the bonds that keep you from the two of cups from union. What did I say? Hello. In the beginning of the reading, the energies of the new moon and Mercury retrograde, the new moon this week, the energy of the new moon and the clarity of the sun has brought Clarity to the divine masculine, divine feminine about these bonds, these negative bonds that have stopped you from union and has also inspired both of you to trust in this connection, make things right. And in his heart space right now or her heart space, divine masculine, could be he or her, they finally have realized this is sacred union needs to happen and look how that just I don't have a particular spread I just you know and I'm, I'm I'm spirit led look how that just went right next to the three of pentacles coming together to make something happen and what's in the divine feminine's heart space what's in the divine feminine's heart heart space right now okay wow that's not perfect yeah the magician 
The Tower. Okay, Seven of Swords. Holy jeez. Death card. Oh my goodness. The Four of Wands right underneath. The Two of Cups. Three of Swords. So what am I getting here? Okay, so I got the Magician. The Tower. Seven of Wands. The Death card. Four of Wands. Three of, of Swords. What, am I, what is, is in the heart space of the Divine Feminine? Exactly that. They want to transform. The Magician is transforming things, making things. First of all, the infinity sign, the infinity sign on top of the Magician. That's indicative of a twin flame connection. Okay. They've been hit just like the Divine Mask and was hit with this tower moment. I said that earlier, crying out of nowhere. What's real? What's not? How do I feel? Okay, that's about things needing to change, of learning your lessons, things changing, letting go of all of those energies that we talked about. The Divine Feminine wants this new beginning, death, letting go of that old BS, moving forward. That old BS is the seven of wands. See how they're guarding themselves? It just hit them that they actually were just as guarded. They were actually just as guarded. And they want, look at this, look how beautiful this, look how beautiful that is. Divine mask in heart space, two of cups, divine feminine heart space, four of wands. They both want and are going towards union now, you guys. But then we got the three of swords so what i'm sensing here is that they're both in the same place right now they finally both had these epiphanies this they are going towards union union is very very near but divine feminine in particular has their heart broken still about certain things and and they still are having a hard time trusting so this message is towards the divine feminines please focus this week especially with the new moon on healing this and trusting that they do want the two of cups they do want the same thing you want it is about to happen you guys are going to have the two of cups and the four of wands but please do your work and get rid of this you have to you have to just forgive you have to let go of this, of this um, seven of wands energy, guarding yourself. Die, basically. Let that energy die and start over because you're going to get this. So tell me, what are the energies going to be for this week for the Divine Fasting and Divine Feminine? For both of them. In action, in terms of action. In terms of action. Oh, oh, action! Knight of Swords, Judgment. Oh my God hello if that's not clear what else come on knight of swords coming in fast judgment judgment day things are going to be set right congratulations things are going to be set right so what i'm getting here is okay now that now that this happened this this you both have realized the meaning of this relationship you don't want anyone else you realize that both of you were standing in your own way okay you realize that both of you were standing in your own way it's time to make things right there is going to be communication for a very 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 larger than usual uh majority a portion of you guys watching this video right now in the collective okay some of you might be even getting invitations to get to get together and talk do not have expectations about oh they're going to call me and tell me i'm the love of their life and no if you're already in that energy right now then you're going to stop it from happening let it happen however it's going to happen if you haven't heard from them in a while you're going to hear from them soon but not if you don't let go of that three of swords okay remember time is an illusion so if the divine doesn't feel like you're you've let it go it's not going to happen but trust me if you've done your work, this is going to happen. I'm saying this week. Yeah, I'm being that bold and I'm usually not when it comes to time. But guys, really? Come on. And this is the after tarot. Aha! The after tarot. After tarot, which is awesome, which shows, you know, what comes next. The five of swords. Wasn't the five of swords? Didn't we start? No, no, no. That was the seven. The five of swords, okay? Finally looking at that sword of truth, letting go of all that BS, ace of cups. Divine masking is coming forward with their heart. 
divine feminine, you're going to accept that there is hope. You're bathing with that cup. You're bathing with all of that. You are going to do it. I feel like you guys are in the right track. Divine masculine is going to come forward. You are going to go in towards union. But the, the, the message that the spirit wants you guys to hear right now is that you have to let go. You have to let go of this doubt right now. Because you're both are being hit by the universe in the face. Saying it's time. It's time for union. The, the, the energy of March is like really, really, really strong. Union is here. But please trust it. This is all about trusting the divine. It is. It is. Hermit in the after tarot. Strength in the after tarot. Okay? What's that? The hermit. Okay? They're not in hermit mode. You were in the hermit mode. They were both in the hermit more mode for quite some time. But finally, you got that snake and, and, you know, you're holding it. That truth. Shining the light on that truth. You're owning it. Okay? You've learned to be strong. To let go of those energies. The star. Finally, you've been moved. You finally reached land. You moved away from this energy. That's going to happen. It's happening. All right. This is great, you guys. I'm going to pull two cards from the um, Archangel <clears throat> Michael deck. Okay. I'm going to post other videos today, too. I just, I was just compelled to um, share quite the messages with you guys today. So, so this is just. For those of you that needed to hear whether or not there was going to be change, yes. But you need to see the bright, look at the bright side and start healing, letting go of those energies. Now be ready. I feel like some of you have already had communication. If you're ready to like respond with an attitude or whatever, stop. Think about it before we talk. Take advantage of this energy right now. Okay? Okay? Come from a place of unconditional love. That is the purpose of this entire union. Hi, everyone. Sorry. Okay. I have hope that eventually I'm going to have to stop editing and putting things back together. Um, but a little bit about myself. I'm a single mom, so sometimes we have the whole mommy moments <laughs> and I have to stop. But anyway, I just took a minute and I cleaned everything off and I'm just going to continue where we left off. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards from the Archangel um, Michael deck that I love. So let's see what we got here. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, here we go. Makes perfect sense to me. You're on the right path. Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthful life changes. So that goes hand in hand with what we've been talking about, okay? The doubt, let go of that. You're on the right path, perfect. That couldn't resonate any better. So let's pick one more. And see what Archangel Michael has to say. Shield yourself. Okay. Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle, my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones safe. Okay. So what I'm getting here is the message that I'm getting from the divine is that they're asking you to shield yourself, okay, from these negative emotions that may block you from union, okay? As much as it's easy to be tempted to go back into these energies, you have to really, really, really Trust that you're on the right path and shield yourself from any th any of these 3D th um, energies that are going to stop you from union, okay? You guys are doing great, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, both of you. Just make sure to shield yourself from this 
ego-based, fear-based emotion, okay, and learn to live in a state of unconditional love. And that is really what your journey is about, okay? And by doing that, you're also encouraging Divine Masculine to do the same. But it's very clear that they're letting you know that you're on the right path. I'm going to pull another one. They're telling me to pull another one. Let's see what's, what they want to say here. I said pull another one. Fine. You know what? Usually when it's this much, I just stop. But if we're fall, I'm going to read it. They're telling me to read it. Focus upon divine and perfect health. God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. I mean, this message is loud and clear. I mean, they're saying the same thing over and over again because I think that they were really, really trying to get through to a lot of you that are struggling with this. So what they're saying is to focus upon divine and perfect health. So what they're saying here is to protect yourself, shield yourself from these emotions. It's exactly what I'm saying. Shield yourself. What they mean by focusing on the divine and for focusing on perfect health is exactly that. Trusting that you're on the right path and trusting that in order for you to be closer to the divine and in what they mean perfect health is living in harmony and abundance is by focusing on the divine and shielding yourself from this. Okay? Perfect. I love it. This one's even better. What do we get here? Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. Okay? I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me courage and strength. Oh my God, this couldn't be any more perfect. Admit the truth. It doesn't matter how angry you want to feel, how much you want to doubt this connection. There's a reason that you haven't been able to let it go. That's your truth, okay? I'm gonna read the sentence again, where it says here. I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Lovingly honest with myself and others. Keyword is lovingly. We have here, innocence. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others. Help me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. Okay? This entire message all goes together. And the last one is just fantastic and perfect. Need I say more? This is what we've been talking about this whole time. Let go of fear, dot, 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 <laughs> emphasis, now. Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts or feelings. I mean, I love, 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 love when they just so openly clarify that we have a connection right now, me and the divine. Because the words that came out of my mouth were almost verbatim, okay? To clear yourself of heavy, toxic, ego-based thoughts or feelings. That's what I said before. Ego-based thoughts or feelings. Let go of that. I mean... For that to be the last card to pull after I was just saying all of those messages is really remarkable. I mean, look at all of these cards. Of all of the cards to come out of here, that's the one we're going to get. So this message is loud and clear. You guys need to hear it. I don't use this deck very often, 
This is the Empathic Oracle. Oh, I'm going to leave that one there. But again, I trust the divine and they're telling me to use it right now. So I'm going to pick three. They're saying three in particular. Three, three. We already got one. Two, three. Let's see what we got here. This is the jumper, so. <laughs> oh my God, I can't make this crap up. I love it. And the jumpers are always the best because it's usually a message that just really needs to um, be shared. And it's the card of beginnings. The card of freaking beginnings. Look at how many cards we have in this deck. Even more. And we got the card of beginnings. It's coming, guys. New beginnings. Let go of fear. You're on the right path. Focus on the divine. Admit the truth to yourself. Shield yourself from these ego-based thoughts because your new beginning is coming. So next one that we got here. Balance. You can't make that up. Balance. Summer. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is beautiful. So basically what they're saying is as long as you, remember, energy is fluid, time is an illusion, okay? What does that mean? It means that anything could change at a given moment. Everybody has free will. So they're basically saying this is the energy right now that's that's um, that divine mass and divine feminine are both in, but you need to do your work. Okay, they're making it loud and clear. You need to let go of fear. You need to admit the truth to yourself. You need to trust, trust, trust in the divine. If you don't do that, even though this is where the energies are at now, the energies can change, okay? Because this is the lesson that you both need to learn. But if you do the work and you let go of fear now and trust in the divine, new beginnings are coming. You're going to find balance, finally counterparts are coming together there's going to be balance in this relationship and i don't usually do timelines okay i don't give timelines because i don't like to focus on put the focus on an outcome here but sometimes the divine just wants to share when energies are going to be particularly strong i'm going to phrase it that way because again, you saw how many cards there are in this deck. There are only, uh, there's a card for summer, fall, spring, and winter. That's it. Obviously four seasons. And the summer one came out. We're in the spring. We're almost at the spring right now. We're entering spring. So it makes perfect, perfect, perfect sense to me that what they're saying here is if you act accordingly, and admit the truth to yourself, okay? Let go of fear. This new beginning and balance will exist by the summer. I mean, I usually don't go with timelines, but, but that's, that's very clear to me. The energy is that strong right now that the new beginnings will be com completely blossomed or blossoming by the summer. That's, that's pretty strong, guys. Wow. All right, so last but not least, my love oracle that I love. Let's get a couple messages from the Divine Masculine. Okay. Let's see. Jumper. Let's see what's 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 going on here. I love it. I love it. It just all goes hand in hand. Acceptance. You are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. Confirmation of what I was just talking about. What did we, it's just amazing every time I say some, because I hear them speaking, right? So then I say what they're saying and then instantly right after they just let a card come out that just goes hand in hand with what I'm saying. What were we just saying about time? So they're emphasizing that, okay? 
It says you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life, okay? So they are just emphasizing that I just said, even though that card says summer, what they're saying to me right now is, don't make the mistake of giving people timelines because then they're gonna just not do the work and thinking, oh, by summer this is gonna happen. What they're saying here is, this is when the energy is going to be the strongest starting now now that mercury has entered retrograde and that there's been the new moon in pisces that's when all of this really began but the divine is being very clear that i need to emphasize okay that you have to let go of control about time to let go of control of needing to know the outcome okay what you need to focus on right now is not when it's going to happen it's all of the energies underneath this okay it's letting go of the fear is getting closer to the divine is trusting okay that message was not from the divine masculine that message was from the divine okay let's see what else we have here it's funny when that happens and they just jumped out. It's like they're just here and they're like, you, you almost feel their energy. They're like, I have to say this <laughs> before you keep going. It's insane. All right. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. Oh my God, again. Make the conscious decision to raise your vibration. Don't remain in this low vibrational energy of fear ego that's not going to get you to this new beginning that's what they want you to know they're really going out of the way to emphasize that because it's tough and i don't blame you it's tough i can sit here and talk about unconditional love or for hours but i'm guilty too sometimes of getting angry and doubting things after all, we're human. We're all human. Regardless of our gifts, regardless of my gift, we're all human. We all have to battle that. But that's why you guys watch these videos because you need that reminder that the work needs to be done. Okay? Until it just becomes a part of your life and sacred union. Let's see. You're saying two more. Forgiveness, okay? Now these are the messages from the Divine Masculine. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts, okay? So they're saying you need to go and go through this healing process, let go of these 3, 3D low vibrational energies and be ready to accept this union, okay? With forgiveness, true forgiveness not an illusion of forgiveness, okay? Because every time that the illusion of forgiveness is when they come back and you're excited and you think all is good, but then something triggers you, oh, that means you're not ready. Be true forgiveness, that's, that's where the focus needs to be placed right now. Unconditional love, that is the purpose of this journey. And remember, twin flames are rare, you guys. Connections like these are rare, but that is your purpose. You are put on this earth to go through this so that you can raise your vibration and in hand raise the vibration of this earth as a whole and help you humanity, okay? That's stuck in this low vibrational energy. That is the purpose. Respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love, okay? That's pretty clear. You need to forgive the divine masculine for Anything that has happened in the past, you have to have acceptance in order to have this elevation in your vibration and, and, and get closer to union, okay? So that you can actually be there and be ready for union. And in order to do this, in order to forgive, forgive wholeheartedly, unconditionally, you need to have respect for the fact that even though they hurt you or things might have happened or they were in a karmic situation in the past with an, another man or another woman or married or 
cheating or abandonment, whatever the case may be, whatever your particular journey um, went through, what you guys went through, you have to let go of all of that and understand that you both were put on this journey together and you both had your own lessons to learn and you have to learn to respect the fact that even though you were hurt, hurting you was part of their lesson, okay? And you have to understand that that is part of this whole entire process. Yep, that's great. I'm gonna pull one more. I can't, I can't make this up. I really can't, you guys. I love when my, I love my angels. I really do. I really do. I really do. Speechless. Past. If that's not a way to end this reading, after everything that I just said. Wow. Wowzers. 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 Nothing's a coincidence. Look at how many cards we have here. Shuffle right in front of you. I mean, the channeling is perfect. Past. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your freaking heart space. It doesn't say freaking. That was just me adding it because I'm excited. But what a way to end this reading. Wow. Wow. That is just confirmation. Remember, guys, I told you guys that I'm clear audience, so I hear the messages, I relay the messages, and then the cards are just like a, they're just reiterating it for validation. But that's that's perfect. All right, you guys. So um, if you resonated with my energy, thank you for coming here. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much for the support. I really, really appreciate you guys already helping me in this journey. Look down below um, to get some more information about me. You guys are awesome. I love all of you already. Okay, so sending lots of love and light to everyone. Bye.